All right, all right, guys. This is Acer of Spades, Team BLA State 268. This is the Building Day COZ results video. We're going to deep dive into it real quick. I'm going to give you guys some super tips, and I'm going to show you how to get to where I'm at right now and what you should be doing. But first, just understand that the COZ guide that will completely tell you everything you need to know will be in the description below. Let's get started. Let me first start off by saying that the major, major tip of the day when it comes to building day is to just make sure you're constantly, constantly building chips at all times. As you can see, my chip sets are at level 25 because I'm base 25, but it doesn't matter what level you're on. Only increase the level on these trip, chip excuse me, production plants when you are on building day. Then, of course, you want to spend all your time getting as many chips as humanly possible at all times, and two or three times in one day, you're going to get this fancy hourly of building and building speed up items. My favorite. When you're on high levels, this is definitely one of your favorite hours because you can pop a ticket and really maximize and get the full use of what you're able to do. But understand, the, and I'm obviously starting from scratch as I usually do, the buildings that you are capable of getting when you are base 25 are absolutely astounding, which means all my war rooms are maxed out, my combat readiness center, which you get at 23, is maxed out, and I'm moving on to these other very fancy buildings that we got going on, such as the vehicle enhancement center. Again, you're going to have to have uh, those that I mentioned already maxed out, as well as the communication tower here maxed out as well, okay? But understand, anything that has to do with chips is going to maximize your points. So I'm bringing that up to simply say, if it has to do with chips in general, if it costs chips to do anything in this game, save it for building day. And in order to do that, you have to constantly be building chips. This is why Trader and Raider really shine, because when it comes to money, they are king. And if you are a free-to-play player, then you need as much money as possible without spending your real money out of your pocket. This is where it really, really matters. So as you can see, this is probably the only building I have going on right now. I can go ahead and speed it up. I have plenty of speed ups. Again, this is not based on every level. I need you to understand that if you don't have this right now, at level 19, you start getting the ability to really go after those chips and really go after those war rooms. And they're still going to give you the same result. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up real quick knock it right out and um, before i go too far i gotta pop a ticket and you're gonna do something very similar on your games but these are the results you get when you are following the guide and doing what you have to do boom i hit that one bucket i got 22 million points if you guys have never seen that buildings do that and they do even more than that obviously that was not a maxed out building and that in itself was 98 million coz points guys so it's absolutely crucial that you are following the guide it's absolutely crucial that you are learning how to utilize your chips so let's go over the very major tips that i want to highlight in this video number one we do not under any circumstances do warehouses on building day okay we do warehouses on any other day number two if it is a resource such as water, food, fuel, lumber, iron, or even the banks. You do them on building day, but you do them when you are in between hours and you just need a purple chest or a gold chest to fill in the blanks, okay? You do not have to rush your hospitals or your bunks. Even myself, I don't have them maxed out. Some people probably do, but if I am a free-to-play player and I'm not going to throw all my iron away doing that, okay? So you can leave them be and focus on the others. And obviously the chip buildings, such as anything that has to do with missiles, anything that has to do with enhancements, war rooms, or speed, or all of those wonderful things, those are going to be your best friends, guys. So if you follow those basic tips and everything else that's missing inside of that guide, you're going to crush COZ, you're going to crush Building Day, and you're going to do everything you need to do in Last Shelter Survival. So obviously, I have to wait to the next hour in order for me to even attempt to do anything else. And that only took Vehicle Enhancement Center from 20 
to 21. So get excited, guys. There's a lot more going on. I can't wait to show you guys Tech Day. Acer Spades, man. You already know. Signing out.